Welcome back to this series of Black Hat Fast Chats. I'm Terry Sweeney, contributing editor to Black Hat, and I'm joined now by Amelia Estwick, Director of Threat Research with VMware Carbon Black. Amelia, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, you recently joined VMware as Director of Threat Research for, for Carbon Black. Um, tell us why you consider this a bold choice. <laughs> It's funny because it, that's an interesting question. I, I really don't uh, think it's a bold choice, but I do understand why. Um, so I guess it depends how you look at it. Um, I'm new to VMware, but I'm not new to the threat intelligence community. Um, I do have a military background. I served in the United States Army and I was an InfoSec analyst, right? Information security. So, you know, I worked on many national security initiatives. Um, and then uh, when I moved into the civilian sector, I actually uh, worked in the public sector and doing research and development and computer security. And then 10 years uh, and within the N NSA directly supporting and leading uh, cyber operations. So with that coupled with my academic experience um, where I also led some college-wide uh, cyber initiatives, most importantly, to educate and train the next generation of cybersecurity professionals. VMware's decision is bold because I don't come from the security vendor community, but given the intersection of my background, it makes sense. VMware, you know, given their uh, value proposition and how they have, you know, over 70 million virtual machines on behalf of its clients um, who are global, right? And, and I think my experiences and perspectives uh, to address the adversarial threat vectors our clients are facing and to provide our clients with the capabilities to detect, protect, and uh, of course, defend against, right? Uh, for their organization is just paramount for VMware. Sure. So, you know, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be leading a global multidisciplinary team of extremely talented threat researchers and analysts within VMware security business unit. All right, well, bravo. Um, you're obviously no stranger to process and, and protocols. Um, and it seems like your, 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 your selection makes perfect sense as we see more nation states uh, entering the, the, the arena as bad actors. So I, I um, I, I think the decision may be bold, but also uh, completely commonsensical. Yeah, absolutely. And the community now realizing we see this, how it impacts our just way of life, right? We've seen with the, the recent ransomware attacks, which is unfortunately not going to slow down and how all of these attacks have been bubbled up into our, our kind of collective conversations, <laughs> you know, it's having yeah. these conversations with people who had no clue that these things are even occurring or how impactful they can be on their way of life. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm just glad I'm still part of the conversation and being able to, uh, to help and contribute to the community. Shifting gears slightly, um, VMware has evangelized this idea of authoritative context um, as a differentiator in, in the security portfolio. Tell us a bit more about what that actually means and, and why it's important um, when scaling response efforts. Right. So thank you. So, um, you know, we know there's a tremendous amount of wealth of data within any enterprise. And with VMware's uh, security products and managed detection service, we have the visibility into those critical control points to pull data together and provide a deeper context about the assets um, that organizations must protect and, and threats they must defend against, right? Sure. Um, so for example, you know, just a novel, real novel, trivial uh, example, knowing an IP is malicious, malicious and adding uh, this IP to like a deny list is really insufficient, right? Information for managers and practitioners, uh, practitioners to make informed decisions um, across their organization on the context of the threat, right? So understanding what that threat is, you really have to employ analytic techniques, automation, right? Um, on many forms using artificial intelligence, machine learning to provide the behavior of that IP, right? And what specific TTPs or, you know, techniques, right, tactics and procedures, right, this behavior is emulating to apply the appropriate detection and prevention capabilities. So this is what we mean by authoritative context, right, as a differentiator in a security portfolio. It's that continuous process, right, 
of threat detection, prevention, threat hunting to provide authoritative context and information about adversarial TTPs. So our clients are enabled, right? We want to enable and we want to empower them to proactively reduce their exposure, close the gaps and support their decision making. And, uh, you know, given these investments in people, technology and processes, I believe VMware is well positioned to grow their uh, $1 billion security business. Another aspect of our conversation is, is uh, concerning uh, diversity in both the security industry and in threat intelligence. I'm curious what your recommendations might be um, for providing more opportunities for diverse perspectives in the intelligence threat community. Great question. <laughs> and I think, you know, when you hear about diversity, equity, and inclusive type of conversations, I think it's it's becoming more of a, a collective across our communities of people understanding why it's so important. So I really believe uh, for the threat intel community, um, just being aware of those affinity groups who contribute diverse thought leadership um, in the threat intel community. Um, for me, I belong to several groups, um, you know, women affinity groups and minority, you know, affinity groups. And then there's campaigns uh, like the Share the Mic and Cyber uh, campaign, which amplifies underrepresented groups in this space. So I believe, you know, conference organizations need to partner with these affinity groups, which I believe Black Hat is. So that's a great job for Black Hat. Um, and also within the organizations themselves, they really need to be intentional in developing diverse thought leadership within their organization. So for instance, you know, with VMware, uh, we have this thing called the Howlers um, that I've learned about and, and I'm part of, right? And we really are just a diverse group of individuals at Carbon Black who are trusted advisors and strategists addressing industry and cybersecurity challenges. So it really takes all of us all of us to ensure we are building a diverse, equitable, and uh, inclusive threat intel overall community, not sure. just for threat intelligence. Please tell me that with a name like Howlers, you have an easier time <laughs> being heard. I think people hear us loud and clear <laughs> with a name like Howlers, absolutely. Amelia Estwick of VMware Carbon Black, thanks so much for joining us on this Black Hat Fast Chat today. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Amelia Estwick, Director of Threat Research for VMware Carbon Black. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.